Hi guys, welcome to this FL Studio tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can control your audio settings to improve the performance of uh, the application. So when I say performance, I'm referring to CPU usage especially. So what you can do is head over to your menu options. It doesn't matter which one you, you choose between uh, the system options that you have right here because whatever you choose, you're able to switch around them easily. MIDI options, general, file, etc. So in this video, we are in the audio settings and uh, this is what I have right here. So I'm going to quickly explain to you uh, why you need to keep uh, your settings that way, especially if you don't have the equipment necessary or um, you don't have the processing power needed to uh, do music production, especially for complex tracks. So here you can see that I have a primary sound driver speakers here and uh, this is also the microphone that I'm using right now but these are not optimized for music production so you need to choose one of these options right here ISO for all um, these driver I believe I installed it myself um, a couple of years back but then uh, when FL Studio installs on your PC um, when you install it after downloading it I believe it installs the FL Studio ASIO, ASIO driver um, so that you, you're able to select that option right here. Normally, uh, this option is uh, showing. So here I have the sample rate set to 44100 and uh, this is the recommended uh, setting. Unless you know what you're doing, uh, you can leave this to um, the, just like the way I have it here. Auto close means that um, other drivers, sorry, other applications are going to be able to um, also use the audio uh, driver uh, whenever FL Studio is out of focus. So when we say FL Studio is out of focus, I'm referring to, for instance, if you open another application like your browser or something, or you minimize FL Studio, then at that point, FL Studio is no longer uh, exclusively using your uh, driver. So this setting controls uh, whether FL Studio has exclusive access to the audio driver. So um, here I have as well um, the buffer length. And keep in mind that I'm not uh, using a MIDI device to um, input sound into FL Studio. So um, whatever latency that might occur due to um, the settings I have here, I'm not very concerned because I mainly use the piano roll. And I believe that you should also do the same if you're new to FL Studio, at least to be familiar with um, notes or sound creation or um, melody creation within the application alone. So here I have it set to 1024. You don't want to go below 400. And uh, as you can see, that option is not even available here. So you can merely choose uh, the 512 or above. For um, the mixing buffer switch, this is um, a, a good thing to turn on. You can leave the triple buffer, but then uh, if ever you want to try it out and you turn it on, I recommend you just check um, if it improves the performance, and if it doesn't, then you can simply uh, uncheck it. For uh, the priority, that's the priority that the CPU will give to the mixer, and uh, you definitely need to have it set to highest. For the safe overloads, uh, some people will tell you that you can simply um, uh, just uncheck this, but I have it on and um, it helps as well with the underruns. Of course, this value here is zero because I don't have any underruns right now. I'm not having any playback. But assuming that I have a, um, a track playing and I have any underruns, this is going to be updated. So for the playback tracking, I have mixer here. You can leave this the offset as well to that position but the most important thing here that we're talking about is the cpu section so these two multi-threaded generator processing and mixer processing these need to be checked all right if you don't have them checked make sure you check them now and then uh for the smart disable this will basically disable any uh plugin or effects that is not um uh, making any sounds all right so when you're playing uh, a track let's say you're in playback mode um, and when I say playback mode I, I mean something like for instance uh, you have your um, 
you have your playlist here and you're playing a track or you're composing something in the piano roll or anything if some plugins or effects are not being used they will be turned off so that is a very important uh, feature because it doesn't uh, take it doesn't use so much processing power whereas you don't need to so make sure you have this set to small disable um, you can leave this one unchecked and for the resampling quality I believe you can uh, control this manually when you are exporting your track but um, I have mine set to average quality 24 point sync you can always try and increase it bit by bit and see if it improves your uh, uh, exporting uh, duration or if it improves performance overall and uh, I believe this is pretty much it what you need to know uh, for the basics of course when you have more knowledge in this then uh, you can decide to play around with the settings or if you simply have a um, all the drivers and the devices that you need then are uh, you're good to um, push FL Studio to its uh, to its limits um, that's it so um, hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe like it and I'll catch you next time bye